Today, I'm going to provide a quick overview of the English verb tense system. When we think of the English verb tense system, the first question some people think about is, how many? How many verb tenses do we have in English? The answer, 3 times 4 equals 12. 12 verb tenses. So with that math, we start with the number 3, and that would be 3 time frames. The time frames are past, present, and future. The next number we had was 4. When we think of 4, we think of the aspects. Simple, progressive. When we have progressive, we can recognize it with some form of be plus verb, ing, and then perfect, which is some form of have plus v3. When I say v3, what I mean is the past participle. For example, if we have the verb eat, the v1 would be the present, eat, v2, ate, the past simple, and v3, eaten, the past participle. Or with speak, speak, v1, spoke, v2, spoken, v3. And finally, I have the perfect progressive, which is some form of have plus been plus verbing. One question, what do I mean when I say aspect? Aspect is the relationship to the time frame. Let me show how that works. Say I have simple. The aspect simple means at that time. If I look here where it says he arrived at 10 o'clock, that's past simple. And what I'm saying is, at that time in the past, he arrived. At 10 o'clock, he arrived. With present simple, he arrives at 10 o'clock every day. And then with future simple, he will arrive at 10 o'clock tomorrow. So with future simple, I'm saying, at that time in the future, he will arrive. Now if we look at the progressive aspect, progressive means in progress at that time. And once again, we can recognize progressive as some form of the verb be plus verbing. So be could be am, is, or are, or was, or were. So if we look here, I have the sentence, she was eating when I walked in the room. What action was in progress at that time when I walked into the room? Was eating. The action started before and was in progress at that time in the past. And my second sentence here, she is eating now. Is eating is in progress right now. It started before now, and it's continuing to now, and it's in progress now. I also have future progressive. She will be eating at this time tomorrow. So that I'm saying at this exact time tomorrow, that action will be in progress. So she will be eating at this time tomorrow. Let's look at the perfect aspect. Perfect, in general, means before that time. We recognize it with some form of have, which would be, could be has, or had, or will have, plus the V3. That's the past participle. So, if we look at this first sentence, he had eaten when I walked in. That time is when I walked in, and what action happened before that time would be he had eaten. Happened before I walked in. 
with present perfect, he has already eaten. That's before the present. He has eaten before now. And with the future, he will have eaten by 9 o'clock tomorrow. What I'm saying there is before 9 o'clock, he will have eaten. So at 9 o'clock, he will not be hungry because he ate before that time. The perfect progressive gives us the idea of starting before and continuing to that time. It generally has a focus on how long something is happening. Uh, the form will be some form of have plus been plus verbing. So, with the perfect progressive, let's look at past perfect progressive. We had been sitting in this room for one hour at 10.30. So, the action started before 9.30 and continued, or at 10, 9.30 and continued to 10.30. So it started before that time and continued to that time. That time is that time in the past, 10.30. That's the past progressive. Past perfect progressive, excuse me. The second sentence, we have been sitting in this room for two hours. So that's present perfect progressive. We want to say the action started before and continued to the present, continued to now. So we have been sitting in this room for two hours, and that would be before now, starting before now, continuing to now. In the future perfect progressive, we will have been sitting in this room for seven hours at 4.30. So we're saying at 4.30, that's a time in the future, this action will have been happening for seven hours before 4.30. So once again, we have 3 times 4 equals 12. 12 verb tenses in English. Our 3 are our time frames, past, present, future. And the four are the aspects, which are the relationship to the time frame, the relationship to the past, the relationship to the present. And those are the aspects, simple, progressive, perfect, and perfect progressive. Thank you. I hope that gives a general idea of how the verb tenses are used, so now that you understand about how the whole system works, when you study each verb tense individually, it will make a little bit more sense. Thank you.